to you, my sweet friends. We are going thrifting today, and by we, I mean you and me. And I am hoping that this winning streak continues, and I have just as much luck today as I did last week. We are staying in my hometown of Tukli, and we are going to thrift crawl. So that means I want to get in as many op shops as I possibly can in the one day. But before we do that, I would like to show off my beautiful new jewelry. You may have already noticed. This is an integrated paid for advertorial by Ana Luisa. You may or may not have heard of them before, but they are a New York sustainable jewelry brand. They craft the most beautiful, high quality jewelry pieces at an extremely affordable price. You guys, they use the finest recycled materials and they are the first direct to consumer jewelry brand to go completely carbon neutral. And I mean, it's from the adorable packaging to the actual product. This brand cares about their impact on our planet. Ana Luisa have been featured in Vogue, Elle, InStyle, among many others. I just am so excited to be working with this brand. You know I don't work with brands often, so for me to say yes to a brand, I need to be completely in love with their product and stand by everything I say. Their designs are beautiful, elegant, and unique and they have an extensive selection that would suit any taste. I just couldn't help myself so I'm wearing all their gorgeous pieces today. From the earrings, my two bracelets, this beautiful necklace. I am just in love and I just think that Ana Luisa makes such a great gift for loved ones or just treat yourself, my friends. Treat yourself, you deserve it. Click the link in the description box of this video and check out the beautiful new collections and let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to know if you guys pick up anything. If you do, let me know, please. I would love to know what pieces you loved, whether it's for yourself or a loved one. They ship so quickly. I mean, it was days. It was so quick. You've got plenty of time before Christmas. Oh, I just love it. And you get an extra 20% off with my link. Okay, so don't forget to shop through that link so you get the 20% off. Alrighty, so all I need to do is grab a bag and I'm off. So I'll see you guys there.
Alrighty, my friends, I wonder if you can guess which items I ended up taking, if any. I'm at my local lop shop. Let's see if I have any luck. Okay, I found a few little vintage finds, but before I pay, I want to have a look out here on this rack, or two racks, because there might be some more treasures. You guys, the sun has gone, but it is so humid, so humid, there was nothing on those racks. So I have time for one more op shop before I have to pick up gates, so let's go. Okay, I am done for today. Three op shops, that's all I had time for, you guys. So we'll have to visit some of the other ones on another day. I'm going to pick up Gabriel now from school. 
and I will see you guys at home where I will share all the deets and do a try on for you guys and yeah see you then all right my friends I am home and I'm here to give you the try on haul portion of this video and let us begin with the first op shop that I visited I ended up taking this top my friends I just really loved how soft romantic and voluminous it was I especially loved the collar and the puff sleeves. It also has slight pleating all the way through it. I love the color, the soft pastel blue color and the tiny little abstract flowers. It is by fast fashion label Dotty. It does not feel cheap and nasty even though it is a fast fashion label. I think it's quite timeless. I just knew that I could style this up and make it look really sweet. This top is very pretty. The reason I fell in love with it is this neckline. I love this little ruffle collar and I've just decided with the ties to just loop them but very loosely off to one side so a little off center. I just think it looks prettier that way. I don't know why. I don't like it just in the center. You can see the ruffle collar, a little bit of skin. It's just so elegant. These balloon sleeves are just gorgeous. The color of this blouse also is so pretty. If you look really closely, you will see that there's little pink dots in each kind of abstract flower, which is why I decided to pair it with this lace pink skirt, which has a silver thread through it. It's vintage. I've had it for a while. I think it's absolutely stunning. And so I just think it brings out the little bits of pink in the blouse. And then for the shoe, I went for a high top trainer in a beautiful metallic silver vintage cracked leather, which I think just grounds this outfit because it is quite dressy. But then you look at the footwear and it's really kind of cool and modern. And that is always what I try to do when I'm wearing vintage is to, you know, modernize it. And the bag I've chosen is also quite modern. My adorable Teddy Blake round bag. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so glad I got this top. It was $4. So although this top may be a fast fashion label, to me, it doesn't look like fast fashion. It looks very elegant and demure, possibly designer or even vintage. The second piece of this haul was this very boxy check print top. Now this is vintage. This is by Peter Metchev. You may have seen this and thought, what is she thinking? But you know, again, I just knew I could modernize it because it has all the details that I love. The high neck, the cap sleeve, the boxy fit, the beautiful timeless color palette. I just really liked it and I can never say no to vintage. Well, hardly ever, unless it's horrendous. And so this one was also $4. I decided to wear these carpenter shorts, which were actually pants that I chopped. I didn't like the way they looked on me as pants. So I made them into shorts. At least I will wear them this way. And I think they pair nicely, right? My bag is a little quilted bag from Tommy, Tommy Hilfiger. It's a beautiful moss kind of khaki green, which works perfectly with the top and the shorts. And so for the shoe, I went with my high top espadrilles. They are cream and black, which pick up the cream and black in my top. And also the little bit of cream tones in the strap of my bag. And all in all, I think for a very kind of not attractive vintage top, it turned out quite cute. Just an easy casual outfit that's a little quirky, a little different. Love the shoe. What do you think? Okay, moving into the second op shop where all clothing was $1. $1 bargains are very scarce nowadays, my friends, even up here where I live in my small sleepy town of Tukli. But yes, I found five pieces for $5, most of them skirts, and this is the first one. I just thought the color palette was beautiful. It's neutral, so really great for the transseasonal months. It had a beautiful high, small waist, and then just floats into this very romantic midi length. Now I love the blues and the neutrals in this skirt. It's just so grounding. This little top by Zara, it's tonal, it's fresh. I love that this shirt is sleeveless and cropped, 
very modern again to modernize this very vintage skirt and I love where it sits it just hits at the waist the smallest part of my waist this is not a pleated skirt but there are I think three little box pleats at the front but they're very subtle it's just got that beautiful floatiness to it and I wanted to pair a cream bag and also my shoes have a little pop of cream they are an animal print animal print is a neutral for me it works back with any outfit this is a new bag from Oriton I love it it's a little romantic a little old school and I just love it I do believe that the same lady donated all these skirts because they kind of all have the same label and they're all size 10. Look how tiny that waist is. It's elasticated so it works. But let me tell you, I may have stopped off at muffin break and had a muffin and another cup of coffee. So my stomach was, you know, on display and um, proudly, proudly out there. Okay, so let us discuss. This is a vintage pleated midi skirt. Those three words, my friends, are just like hitting the, the, the thrifting jackpot for me. So I thought this one was so unusual in this vibrant color. It feels very silky, even though it's polyester. And I thought, hmm, I have an idea of how I can style this. And that, my friends, is this shirt with all this lace work in this gorgeous cobalt blue. Look at that. That is, that is a pure perfection marriage, that is. But my friends, because this is a very sheer top, whoever owned it cut out all the tags because of course they would have shown. Listen, I cannot guarantee that this is vintage, but actually I can. I can guarantee that this is vintage because the craftsmanship, the craftsmanship is there. They just don't make things like this anymore. I had to take it. I had to take it and style it up with that skirt. All right, so now I have the second skirt on. And when I saw this, at first I was just taken aback by the shine, the vibrancy, the colors. I just thought it was so unusual. I picked it up and I thought, no, I've got to see if I can style this up. And then when I came across the shirt, I thought, wow, they make a perfect pairing, right? Just for a dinner or a very elegant evening, I just think, Together, it's stunning. I love this sleeve. It's not three quarter, it's a little cropped sleeve, which I think is so beautiful because you can show off your gorgeous jewelry. I went with a full on button up to the neck look just to keep it more demure because it is a sheer top and we are showing skin underneath. All you can see is a black bra. So I just thought it would look nicer buttoned up. A little clutch, a little velvet clutch, vintage from Van Cleef and Arpels. A beautiful little kitten heel in a gorgeous green, which works with the skirt. Wow, these shoes are just stunning. I'm in love with these shoes. I thrifted them and they are amazing. They always get compliments. So I think that this outfit, it's just so, it's vintage, but it's unique and it's, 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 it's just beautiful. I love it. For someone who isn't wearing color at the moment, boy, am I colorful. This also feels a little festive. If you had a fancy to do over the holidays, this is, this is a beautiful outfit. I love a midi pleated skirt and just look at the color. Look at the color in this outfit and the shirt, the beautiful lace work in this shirt. I just thought the lace work was was stunning. And I'm not really one who likes to wear she things. I gotta say, it is a little different, I know. It may not be for everyone, but I love it. The third and final skirt was this one in this gorgeous teal green color with a little bit of goldy beige and a black backdrop. Just stunning. This one's a little shorter, so I love that. But it's just so pretty. This one is beautiful as well. I hope you see what I see, you guys. It's just that gorgeous, is it blue, is it green color? And I love the length of this skirt. It's a little shorter than the others. And so I just paired it with a very simple, nude Lucy, very modern cropped baby tee. I think it's a perfect combo. I love it. The shoes I went for are these gold little flat 
pointy shoes because I wanted to bring out that goldy beige color in the skirt. And so my bag is a vintage little quilted leather bag in this beautiful black glossy patina. This is from Florence. The chain is gold with black leather woven through it. I know it looks like Chanel, but it's not. And I think it pairs beautifully with this outfit. The gold chain picks up the gold in my shoe, the black picks up the black in the top and the black in the skirt and I feel very demure yet modern and unique and elegant and all the things I want to feel which is why I love vintage so much. I am a vintage freak and nothing beats vintage. And the last piece from that op shop was this bandeau top in navy and white, the white pinstripe, so cute with this material at the front which wraps around your boobs and you just kind of tie it in a bow. If you wear high-waisted pants or a skirt, you're not going to show much skin. But I do love these cropped little strapless tops. I think they're great for travel. They're great for the summer. You can walk around, get a tan. It's 100% cotton. This one's by Cotton On in a size small. It was just a cute little number I just know I'm going to wear the hell out of and style in a multitude of ways. I did the opposite with this top. This is very modern and showing a lot. So I'm wearing jeans and high top trainers, vintage jeans, because this is very modern. I wanted something, you know, old school and they're quite baggy, which I love juxtaposed with something very form fitting on the top. It's always nice to balance it out and my white Converse high top trainers, which would there ever be a styling video without me wearing a pair of Converse? I don't think so. And my little mini crossbody coach bag, which I love, you cannot fit very much in here. Some cards, your keys, you have to put your phone in your pocket and that's about it, but I love it. I just love the vibe and I'm so sorry I keep looking in the viewfinder. I just wanna make sure that I'm in focus because I am blind without my glasses and I cannot see my friends. At this point, stripes are part of my personality, you guys. Me and stripes, we go way back and I just love stripes. It's very nautical, very Parisian, very preppy. All the things that I love, and I don't know, I think it's just a really cute top and it's all cotton and I love this little tie at the front. It kind of keeps everything nice and secure, gives a nice little neckline as well. And it's just a cute little top. And finally, my friends, in the last op shop, the Salvos, this skirt, my friends, this skirt is just amazing. This skirt is by Karen Millen. It's a size eight, so I just fit into it. It's made in England. This, my friends, is a, hold on, let me read it to you. Virgin wool cashmere blend. Made in Cyprus. Oh my God, I can't believe that. I am from Cyprus. Well, not me, I was born in Australia. My parents are from Cyprus, but I thought it was made in England because under Karen Millen, it says England. Oh my God, my mom's gonna die when I tell her that this was made in Cyprus. It's, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful skirt. Karen Millen is designer, kind of expensive. I don't know how much this would cost retail. I would say upwards of $300, $400, possibly more. But I just loved the color. It's a winter skirt that would look amazing with tights and boots, a turtleneck, or maybe something not as heavy on top, maybe a pretty blouse. And oh my God, it's just stunning. And this is not something that I would normally go for. So I don't really thrift skirts like this. This is very unusual, but I just just knew it was a treasure find and I had to bring it home with me. It's just so amazing. This is my favorite outfit of all. And that is a huge statement because this skirt, my friends, is very unlike me. This is an amazing piece. I cannot believe I thrifted such a quality, beautiful, unique, gorgeous skirt like this. It reminds me of the skirts they wore in the 60s, that real mod look. I just love it. Okay, let's break this down. I love red and pink together. It is just my go-to. And this is a very deep burnt red, right? This little pink shirt with the ruffle at the front. This beautiful blouse is vintage. I thrifted it. And can we take a moment for this gorgeous bag? 
It looks like an ice bucket, doesn't it? I mean, I just love this bag. I have one in black also, and I'm still not over them. I don't think I will ever be over this bag. Look at that cute little polka dot lining. Top handle, but also crossbody, and the shoes. I chose to pair this with, my friends, because I'm showing so much leg. I went with my under the knee riding boots, black, to pick up the dark buttons in this skirt. I'm just loving this. This is, this is, maybe I am this, this girl that wears the short mini skirts. I don't know why that's such a big thing when I've got, you know, no issues whatsoever showing a little bit of midriff and a whole lot of décolletage. Is it décolletage or décolleté? Anyway, I'm not French, but I love Parisian style. Yes, I do. Made a video on it. I'll link it down below. But that is it, my friends. That is a wrap on this thrift with me. I would like to say a big thank you to Anna Luisa for this wonderful collaboration, for my beautiful, beautiful jewelry, and for giving you guys, my subscribers, a 20% discount. You guys, please don't forget to click the link in the description box and let me know what you guys fall in love with, what you guys end up getting. And so my friends, I guess that is it for this one. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you in my next one.